Hello, thank you for joining me here on the Shit Flick Critic, and this is my first ever interview with a Mr. J.R. Lyon. I don't normally like giving disclaimers, but it is worth mentioning that uh, this isn't perfect. There's a lot that I wish I could change about it, and instead of me listing off everything that I think's wrong with it, uh, if there's anything you feel like I could do differently in the future, please just leave a comment and let me know. Uh, but with that out of the way, here's my interview with J.R. Lyon. Hello everyone, thank you for joining me on the Shit Flick Critic. I am joined here today with the wonderful Mr. J.R. Lyon from Waynesboro, Virginia. Is that where you're from, Waynesboro? Yes. Okay, cool. And uh, how, how would you like me to refer to you? Would you would you prefer like uh, J.R. or Mr. Lyon? J.R. JR's fine. Okay, beauty. So, um, just just off the bat, what I'm interested in is, um, what's your songwriting process like? Do you do you generally find a backtrack to the rap that you like, and then come up with lyrics over the top, or do you write the lyrics and then find a suitable backing track? Yeah, I find the track, and then I just come off the top with the lyrics. So you just kind of freestyle over the top. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I know, um, like I, I don't write rap, but I write uh, songs with guitar, and I guess I kind of alternate. It's never easy to know whether to start with the uh, the music or the lyrics. But um, so when when did you decide that you wanted to be a rapper, and um, who were your influences? I wanted to be a rapper since I was fifteen years old, and Lil Wayne, Tupac, Biggie. DMX, hope I told you. And Bob Marley is one of my biggest inspirations. Yeah, because I, I have noticed that you've gotten into reggae uh, recently. What sort of caused that shift from rap to reggae? It was just something that I wanted to try. Yeah, because it sounds, I mean, it's, 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 you definitely, as I said, you, I can definitely see in the three years since I last sort of started looking at your videos that you definitely have matured and there's a vast improvement so it's um it's going well yes they got better over the years yeah i mean and me too like sometimes when i look back at my older reviews i kind of cringe because it's like there's things that i just would never do now but um yeah no um as i said show me a sign is definitely definitely very improved and i've noticed you've gotten into photography too when did that happen I've been doing that for four years now. Yeah, I've, I've had a look at, at some of your shots. You're, you're doing really well. What camera do you use? I use a Sony camera. Mm -hmm. Just like a, a little sort of DSLR? Yeah, a photography camera. Okay. And um, were you born in Waynesboro? Yeah, born and raised in Waynesboro. Yeah, I, um, I was in Virginia not last year but the year before I, it's a long story but i was hitchhiking through america and uh i didn't get to go to waynesboro but i went to richmond and williamsburg and uh, I, those are some pretty cool places uh so so now let's talk um a little bit because this sort of has to come up eventually um if you don't mind we'll talk a little bit about country for life um mm -hmm. because that was sort of what drew a lot of attention to you uh some questions that have sort of been on my mind for a while now is um so the girls in the music video did you know them personally yes i, I know one of them but i did she she walked in with her okay and and the two guys in the music video were they their um were they their boyfriends yes they were their boyfriends yeah i always kind of suspected that because they don't look super comfortable being there um, so that's, it's nice to know that I was correct. And, um, so whose idea did you, with the whole music video, did you go to someone to make that or, um, like, because it seems like you just kind of went to, it looks like a kind of baseball diamond or something and just, just filmed it. Yeah, we went to a park and filmed it in Waynesboro. In Waynesboro. Okay. And um, so I guess the, the thing that I really want to talk to you about the most and the reason why I guess I'm so enamored with you, JR, is because um, that that music video garnered a lot of negative feedback. 
and I guess since, yeah. since that video, you, you unfortunately sort of gained this negative following of people that sort of seem to just want to attack you. Um, and the fact that you powered through that, I, I think is very admirable. Um, is there any, any advice you can give to someone who's probably going through a similar kind of thing of having these people that uh, attack them and sort of keeping your composure and just moving on and getting the job done? Well, uh, never give up on your dream because you can make it come true no matter what anybody say. Well, that's the thing. Yeah, and, um, and don't let it get you. Know, because what's what's your end goal? Where, if I could wave a magic wand, where would you want to be in say two years? Want to be more famous out there and work with the big artists. Who, who's an artist that you'd really like to work with right now? Right now, I'd like to work with DDG or Will Wayne. can't say I'm super into rap, but I do. <laughs> I know of those people, so I, I sort of understand uh, how you'd want to work with them. And um, I know you briefly mentioned this before, and if you if you don't want to talk about it, that's okay. But I I do just remember I saw a video of yours a while back where you mentioned um something about that uh, someone told you that you weren't expected to to live to a certain point. Um, would you want to sort of talk about that? Yeah, I just have headaches sometimes and some other problems that I deal with, but I would like for people to pray for me. Yeah, because I, I think that that was one of the, the main sort of things that drew me to was that despite all this negative feedback and despite some clear and obvious um, health problems, you still get up every day and make a song. Uh, how, how often do you write songs? Mostly every day. Every day? That's incredible. Every day you try and write a rap song? Yeah, we just try to write one to two songs a day. That's crazy. Because, yeah, I mean, you do. You pump out loads and loads of material. And um, what's in the future for JR? What what projects do you have in the pipeline? Just trying to get some more songs going and music videos and some features. And then we put out an album, so... An album, okay. So an album's coming up. Can I can I get a name, or it's not in that spot yet? I don't have a name for it yet, but I'm working on it. Okay. And um, yeah, and I was talking to your manager too, who's a wonderful gentleman. Is it Low? Yeah. And he said that he's been helping you through some of the um, sort of working through some of the negative feedback that you've been getting. Uh, can you walk us through some of the the processes that he's put in place? He just tells me not to pay attention to them and keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. Do you, do you have a theory as to why um, some of your videos have garnered a lot of negative attention? Um, I'm not sure, really. I mean, if, 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 I can, if I can say it from my perspective, um, I think problem is it's like a, that you are a very unique person um, and I think as such I think it's like you're an easy target for ridicule because you're not like all the you know the super popular rap stars and everything and I, I think it is unfair because you have sort of stuck your neck out to make this music and I think a lot of the time when people really attack someone they're just trying to take the attention off themselves and uh, their own fault. So I think that that's probably some of the reason why uh, you've gotten so much negative feedback. Um, my only, I think the only thing I can say with your music is, um, is who, do you put the auto tuning on your songs? Yes, I do. Yeah, I mean, I think my only real criticism is I just, I think you could probably harbor. It. It's, it, there's, there's just a lot of auto tuning and I think it's, um, sometimes it can just be a little bit distracting. Okay. I mean that's that's the only that's the only thing I would say. But other than that, as I said, you've definitely um definitely improved. Now, 
just uh, because my channel is called. Have you seen any of the the reviews that I did of uh, of your stuff? Yeah, I've been seeing both of them. Okay, great. Um, is there anything that any feedback you'd like to give me, or anything I could do differently, or or even just things that I got wrong? I'm happy for criticism. Just thanks for down. Okay. Just just thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. I appreciate it. As I said, like, is there any anything that you liked the most about my reviews? Like when you put some clips of the music videos and stuff and share it. Yeah, because I I do think that um, I do think it's good. Yeah, I really like it. Um, I think that as I said, I, you've definitely improved over time from from when you started. And I think a lot of rappers get stuck in in the sort of the hole of talking about either money or girls or a combination of the two. But uh, I really like that you talk about personal sort of uh, personal development and things that you're going through. Um, is there uh, is there anything that you could give maybe some uh, advice to me? Like, let's say I want to make a rap song. How do you feel like? Where should I start? Just go with um, what you feel and find you a beat that you like, mm -hmm. and then just and then just take it from there. Tell a story with them. Okay, great. Um, I guess that's just about the extent of what I wanted to say. Um, as I said, I am I am the shit flick critic, so my main realm of videos is um is movies. Just just out of interest, what's the worst movie you've ever seen, Dow? I watch too many of them. <laughs> okay. Oh, you just broke up then. So you don't watch lots of movies? No. Okay. Um, look, I, I really think that's that's plenty. Um, that I've basically gotten all the information that I need to get. Um, so I really thank you for your time, Jr. That was that was great. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. And um. Good luck with all the the next videos that you're going to making. I'll be um be interested to see it, and I'm more than happy to do a uh, do a review sometime again if when you release a new video. So thank you so much, and um enjoy the rest of your evening. All right, thank you. Thank you.